Hi everyone, welcome. In this video, we are going to cover one sample t-tests in R. So, uh, first, what is the one sample t-test? The one sample t-test is used uh, to compare the mean in an observed distribution. So for an observed numeric variable, um, we want to compare that with a reference value. So we're going to import a data set for that. We're going to import the data set sleep. That's part of the data sets package. And I'm going to store that under the name data. I'm going to run that. So then now I have my data object in my environment over here. Uh, first, I'm going to do a quick run of the test. So we're going to use the function t.test. Open the parenthesis. X is actually going to be the variable I'm going to compare with the reference value, whose mean I'm going to compare with the reference value. So I'm going to go in the data object, dollar symbol, and I'm going to select the extra um, or type the extra variable. That's the variable I want to compare with the reference value, whose mean I want to compare with the reference value. So comma. And of course, I have to provide the reference value. By default, it's going to be zero. And that's the value I'm going to use here. Uh, but it's good practice to uh, set it explicitly. So here we're going to compare extra, it's extra hours of sleep with a reference value of zero, which we could change if we're interested in comparing with other values. So a quick run of the test. When we run that line, we see that we have a T value of 3.413 degrees of freedom 19 and a P value here is below 0.05. It's 0 0.0029, etc. We also see here a 95% confidence interval if we want to report them. And we also have reported the mean of the variable we just tested. Um, so we can use this object, right? This t-test creates an object, which is printed here. And we can store this object and mine it if we want to uh, use different values in reporting. So I'm going to take here this t-test and store it in an object, let's uh, call it, uh, you know, my test. Okay, so when I store it as my test, and now have a new object called my test. And within this object, you can see if I click on the magnifier here, I can mine and find different find different types of information. So for example, let's say I want to report the, the T value, I see that it's reported over here, and I can compare with the value over there. And so that's the value here. So let's say I want the t value, I'm going to click here. Boom. And you see my test, double brackets, and statistic, if I run this, I'm going to run this with pressing the return key. Here, I have this value over here. And so you can mine the this object for different information, let's say you want to report the confidence intervals, they are there, you want to report the p value, they are there, the parameter is actually the degrees of freedom. Uh, here you have the null value, That's, that was your comparison value, etc. Here you have the type of test, so on and so forth. So you can mine the subject for various types of information. Um, if you want to use uh, these information to report in APA style, uh, you could do that directly, but I would suggest that you use uh, a package from the library APA. Uh, so you click on uh, packages here and install. And you're going to type APA install, and that's going to install the package. Uh, it might uh, ask you to uh, re restart R, which you don't necessarily always need to do. So I'm not, I, I press no. Um, so here it downloads, um, it downloads the package and installs the package. And now I can use a function from this library. So first I'm going to load the APA library. I'm running this, boom. And I'm going to use the function APA. I'm going to use the function APA, actually a little bit of an error here showing up, but APA of my test. And when I run this, it will show. So here, I think it's formatted by default in Markdown, but you can change the format to, uh, let's say, LaTeX or directly uh, text uh, by using the arguments of this function. Uh, for example, if you type format, um, mm -mm, format uh, text, I think, yes, you directly get a report here. And you can ignore these, you shouldn't have these. <laughs> um, um, 
and so let's do a few plots now. So we're going to, um, I would suggest to use the library ggplot2. Uh, if you haven't installed it already, you, you should, and you can install it in the same way that I showed you. So you would click on install and type ggplot2, but um, there's a good chance that you already have it um, installed. So, and I have it installed. So I'm going to load this library ggplot2. And I'm going to start a plot. And so typically in this case, if we want to illustrate this t-test, we would probably show the distribution of the viable data dollar extra. So what we would do is typically we would start a plot with the data as the data set. And then we're going to map certain aesthetics. So for example, for um, a histogram or a density plot, we would provide an X viable, the x viable would be uh, extra. And we would then add um, a geom histogram. If we run that, we should be seeing a plot. Maybe did it show? Okay. Probably there wasn't enough space um, to show here. So now I have my histogram uh, showing up and uh, and you can do uh, other things such as uh, run a density plot, etc. So there are other, other illustrations. A box plot is also possible. Um, if um, I'm going to do a later on a video on how to do all of these plots, but that would be a typical illustration. Another thing you could add, by the way, on this plot is you could add the reference value uh, as maybe a vertical line. So uh, you could do something like this, geom, uh, add that on a new line, geom underscore uh, v-line, because that's a vertical line, v-line, and you provide uh, the x value for this vertical line. And so it's x intercept, and here you use your reference value, which was zero. And then let's say you want uh, to use a particular color, you can say uh, red, for example. Boom. And so here you have your reference value. So you see that it illustrates your test because you see that most of the observations tend to be uh, higher uh, than uh, this um, reference value of zero. And so finally, uh, let's talk about the assumption of normality for this test. This test assumes that the viable data extra, so viable extra, uh, which we are testing here, uh, is normally distributed in the population. So we can use normality tests. Uh, to test this uh, um, this null hypothesis. And so if ideally, we would not have a significant test because that would mean a significant departure from normality. So uh, a typical test we could use here would be the Shapiro-Wilk test, which we can run with Shapiro.test. And we just have to provide the variable here. Uh, we don't have to type x equal, uh, but we could. Uh, I'm going to copy this and paste it here data dollar extra and I'm going to run this. And so here we have our test and we see we have non significant departure from normality, uh, which actually uh, is good news. Uh, so that was it. That was it for this um, for this one sample uh, t test, um, you can uh, I'm going to suggest additional videos that you can watch if you want to do different plots, maybe do a non parametric uh, alternative for this test and also for other types of tests that are similar to to this one. Uh, thank you for watching. And if you like the video, please uh, give it a like and um, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Have a good one.